Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. So in this video, I'm going to uh, try to solve another problem on BFE.dev. It's called uh, Create a Lazy Man. It's uh, the latest problem on BFE.dev. 113, 130. A lazy man is very lazy. He only eats and sleeps. So uh, we have this lazy man function with name and log function. This call would lock a message. The pass log function is used. Lock lazy man Jack. Hi, I'm Jack. Mm -hmm. He can eat. The lazy man eat, eat. So hi, I'm Jack. Eat banana, eat apple. Okay, he can also sleep. Time is based on seconds. So okay, this is a new lazy man. He eats a banana and sleep for 10 seconds and eat an apple and then sleep for one second so hi I'm Jack eat banana after 10 seconds wake up and after 10 seconds eat apple blah blah okay so he can sleep just like a timeout and he can sleep first mm -hmm, which has the highest priority among all tasks no matter what the order is lazy man eat banana sleep first 10 seconds so these 10 seconds will be uh, at the highest priority so the first message we get is not the uh, hi I'm Jack but uh, wake up after 10 seconds and then hi I'm Jack banana and eat apple sleep one it's just the same as a previous example so we need to create such a lazy man well the trickiest part if not if we set aside the sleep first, it could be very easy, right? So we just log and return an object, and which could be chain up. We could just return the this, and uh, yeah, and uh, this is this is just what what we did what we did before about creating uh, a jQuery uh, chainable method. It's not it's not easy, uh, not difficult. The difficult part is about sleep first, right? So, despite where, no matter where, what the order is, no matter where the sleep first is called, we need to trigger this first. So it's kind of like, uh, I think we could, it's like a priority queue. If we treat each tasks as a, uh, and put uh, as an item in a queue, we need to sort the queue with the priority. Of course, in this problem, only two priorities there are. Would be first one is sleep first, it was priority one, and all the others will be priority zero, right? So we could sort that because there are only two um, priorities, so we could actually use two arrays to hold the different uh, queues, right? One queue for an ordinary a task like eat, or like sleep, like this uh, initial message. The other queue keeps track of the sleep first while we're okay, so we while we are handling. Uh, putting the, the next uh, task we first check if there is a sleep first task if there is we uh, we process uh, we uh, trigger this task and then um, just uh, and then we pull the next task and process it so yeah um, the, I think that's the basic idea so okay let's begin so the idea is use to array to hold to hold task uh, tasks to one for sleep first one for one or the other as I said, if this task has more, uh, a lot of priorities, it's, if it is a complex data, we need to implement a priority queue, which actually is a problem in BF, on BFE.dev. Please have a try, because it's simple enough here, we use two array. Okay, and then uh, we need to chain the methods up, right? So we could just return return this for each uh, method call okay so I think that's it okay 
let's create the instance. I'll call it a lazy man, which has the uh, name, constructor name, and lock. Okay, this name is name, this law is lock. And as we, uh, what we wrote here is we need to host two tasks. So this tasks normal, okay, task, mm, normal tasks. This, um, urgent urgent tasks okay with these two array to hold them and then uh, this constructor we need to have the gre greeting method right so what we have here is we have a greet a greet greeting greet okay uh, I'm not sure whether I have the right spelling, but anyway, return this. So for each method call, what we do is actually push the task into uh, the task array. While there are uh, parameters like bananas, anything, uh -huh. and uh, what we we would just uh, okay, we would just uh, uh, use an array item. As a task, right? So this normal task will be push. The first is the uh, method, which is uh, okay, grid, grid, and then the parameters. It's empty, so we do nothing. Yeah, because this is the grid, and then what we have, we have eat, right? Eat. This is food. So eat is normal ta normal task so normal tasks we do the same we push eat and foot foot as the parameter right okay and then return this the other one is sleep this is time okay this normal task push sleep and time return this so we can because we return this every method call could be chained up and the other one is sleep first time okay so this is urgent task push sleep time great so this is a uh, uh, the class for a lazy man but we didn't call directly uh, with greet method right so actually we need to um, implicitly implicitly call this grid so this grid and another one is uh, after all the tasks are there, we need to start processing the task, right? There's no triggering here. So like sleep and, and eat, we didn't say, hey, let's let's just uh, begin your day. There's no such thing. Well, we could just do set timeout because set timeout adds the task to uh, to 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 the event loop. All the calls here will be uh, will be pushed into the call frame. So this actually will be within the same call frame, I think. So uh, the task after say timeout will be called after all of these function calls are done. So uh, I'll just uh, set timeout here. Zero is good enough. And okay, we could just uh, this. Um, I would say start start okay so we need to implement the start method 
and here the lazyman here we just return the instance say new uh, lazyman name long ff okay so start as we analyzed before we get the task from the normal urgent task and then and then normal task right so task let task equals this uh, urgent task which will be shift if it is does not exist we try to get the task from the normal task task normal task Yeah, and if still does not exist, it means there's no more task, right? So we could just return. Now we need to get the task and the process the task. So this is the action param. Okay, there's only one parameter. So param task. We check the action. case if it is uh, great okay this is not start I think this is next okay um, okay no uh, trigger trigger next if it is great we will just uh, log uh, hi, I am this name, right? Yeah, that's it. And after logging this, we go to the next method. So we return. Before we return, we call this trigger next. This is it. And then the next one is eat this log eat this param right this is the banana or apple this trigger next return other one is uh, sleep no matter it's uh, a sleep first or um, sleep normal sleep they have the same task name which is sleep well here we could just uh, use a set timeout here. Set timeout. This is the param, which is the time. Uh, when time is up, we first we log. Okay, wake up after uh, param second 10 seconds one second duh. so uh, there is a if it's bigger than one then it's s if not it's empty okay so this is the lock we want and then we need to trigger the next one right okay so this is it i think it should work let's try to review Allow me to review my code before I submit. Okay, for this name, we and log function, we return a new lazy man. Uh, in this constructor, we set the name and log function. We use two array to hold the tasks. Uh, in, we call the greet, greet implicitly. And uh, we will trigger all the uh, tasks after the call is done. So there are uh, greet, eat, and sleep, sleep first. For each greet, we would push the task into the normal task, eat, normal task, sleep, normal task, sleep first, we push it into urgent tasks. We return this, so this chaining call method call will work. And then we would, will, will trigger 
the next tasks, right? We keep getting the task first from the urgent task. If it is empty, we get from normal tasks. Okay, there's a typo here, task. If still there's either, uh, there is uh, no task in both uh, array, then we return. It means this, we need to stop, right? If we get a task, we get the action and the parameter. For greet, we just uh, lock the message and trigger the next one. For eat, we lock eat something. There is a period here. Period. Okay. Okay, and then we have sleep. We just set timeout. When when the time is up, we lock. We come after second. Uh huh. And then we trigger the next one. So I think it should work. <coughs> no. A lazy name is not defined. Uh uh. This is not a lazy name. It's uh, a lazy man. Uh uh. Something not right. Ooh. Here. We didn't make it. Eat banana, eat apple, sleep first. Ah, I see. Because it's based on. Seconds, we need to time 1000 to make it milliseconds. Great! I think this is interesting. I'll sub in my code and post it in, on, into the discussion panel. Uh, so if you're interested, please take a look. And uh, yeah, this is all for this uh, problem. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.